Have you been asked to look after a project or work with some people as their team leader? Are you a manager of a group tasked with getting the project work done? Let me tell you a story. On January 9th, 2009, Sully Sullenberger went to the airport in order to pilot flight 1549 US Airways from LaGuardia to North Carolina. He'd had 40 years of flying experience, and as he went through his checklist as he prepared the plane for takeoff, everything seemed normal that day. In fact, everything was normal. The passengers were fully secured, the cabin crew was ready to go, and as he put the plane forward down the runway, it seemed like business as usual. But a minute into the flight, something terrible happened. They hit a flock of Canada geese, which effectively sealed off all of the engines of the Airbus 320. They were powerless. They were several thousand feet in the air and were dead. His mind quickly calculated, do I have enough momentum to be able to circle back to LaGuardia? And he quickly calculated that no, he didn't. And because of his experience, he thought, there's an airport in New Jersey we might be able to glide to. But again, his mind calculated the distance, the altitude he had, and he realized that was impossible. And so he did the nearly impossible. He decided that he would put the Airbus down on the Hudson River. And he and his co-pilot effectively guided the plane down to the Hudson River, warning the passengers over the overcom, the intercom, to brace for impact. And the plane hit the water and skidded to the point where it was floating down. And he gave the order to his team to evacuate, and maybe you've seen the photos of 150 people and five crew members on the wings of that Airbus waiting to be picked up by the oncoming tugboats and emergency vehicles. But Sully Sullenberger did something at the end of that episode that I think we need to be mindful of. It's said that when he put the airplane down and released all the passengers, his last act was to walk from the cockpit down the aisle to the back of the plane and back up again, making certain that everybody was safely evacuated from the plane. Because his concern was not only to land the plane, but to take care of the people. And the point I draw from that is good managers, good leaders, good people in charge of project and personnel know that you need to balance the project and the people you work with. Taking care of business is taking care of the task, but also taking care of the people you work with. And so if you're a project manager, if you're a general manager, if you're a leader, how are you doing on that? Balancing it up.